absolutely wonderfully exciting. I'm so glad that you've seen wild dogs for the first time in quite a long time. We have a tale to tell you. We have a very interesting tale to tell you. Um, and some brilliant work from Herbert, who has been with us the whole time. So we followed those alarm calls, and we don't know what made those alarm calls. Something, well no, we know what made the alarm calls was the kudu. We don't know what caused them to make the alarm calls. They were on the other side of the drainage line. So they, we think they wouldn't have been able to see us from where they were. However, the interesting part in the tale comes in the story of our elephant friend. Our elephant friend, we, he was moving off. We thought we'd left him. We walked around him and we went to follow the alarm calls <laughs> until we decided to change direction and go back the way we came, at which point he exploded out of the bushes probably about 10 meters from us and ran off in the opposite direction. So what we think happened, what we think he was up to, was he was, he was following us. He was following our scent trail and he'd gone, he'd doubled back and he'd followed where we'd gone. He didn't expect us. He was actually stalking through the bushes to get to us. He didn't expect us to do what we did, which was go and investigate the alarm calls and then change direction. An interesting lesson in the way in which the elephants operate. So what we did was we went very, very quickly in the opposite direction and put the drainage line system that we have here, all of these river systems, it's an obstacle. And what we had to do is we had to get very quickly through the bushes to get to the other side of it. Unfortunately, it's a bit tricky with Brian's backpack and antenna, so we had to kind of try and move the trees out of the way. So that's where we disappeared off to. An interesting experience in that it's an important lesson that you don't play around with elephants. Elephants are very clever creatures. Not that we were playing around, not that we intended to disturb him, it was just that he picked up our smell. Obviously the wind shifted and he heard something, he knew something was wrong and he came to find us. And isn't that an interesting little lesson in elephant behavior? I don't necessarily think he came to find us with ill intent in mind. He just wanted to know what was going on. Elephants don't like not knowing what's going on. It makes them very nervous and that I think was why he responded in the way that he did 